Okay, you took the fight on short notice. Obviously, Paddy Hoolan fell out of the fight. Um, you know, you needed to bounce back in the win column after your last two losses. Um, is it sometimes better to take a fight almost on short notice? Because I know this fight was to be a so-called survival fight. The guy who loses probably will get released. So when I got a last-minute offer, I was a little bit, you know, a little bit, you know, concerned about it. But you know, since I lost two in a row and I went through the difficult time of not being able to win, and the fan really gave me a big support, so I wanted to bring back, you know, that message back to the fans. So I decided to take the fight. So what what kind of preparations did you manage to get? I think it was like two weeks notice so actually we were planning I was planning on going down to flyway for a long time ago so I spent time to cut my weight and I always was ready to take the fight on any short notice and it was not quite short notice because we had a little bit of conversation with the UFC about it beforehand yes, so. at the weigh-ins as well he had a mask on yeah, what did it mean? Is it from, some, from his culture or is it just funny? Well, it's a Japan's heavenly creatures in, in the Shinto religion. But also, my name, Uruka, also means Tengu, which is long-nosed goblin in uh, Indian Sanskrit language. So and it's the, uh, the monkey came from the heaven. And it's almost symbolized of martial arts god too, so that's why I wear that mask. You uh, mentioned Mighty Mouse in, oh. your, in the octagon. Can you just elaborate? You said something about, I hope he's having fun. Uh, can you just elaborate yeah. on what, what that message is? I look like a cat, right? Long <laughs> leg, long arm, and Mighty Mouse is like a mouse. Uh -huh. So it's like a Tom and Jerry. I'm going to just keep chasing him and chasing him. Let's just yeah. do that. How do you think you would fare then against Mighty Mouse? I don't think I can beat him now. No. <laughs>